Hi, my name's Richard Francisco Perez Jr. I'm here today basically to talk to my daughter, Maya Carmen Perez. I gave you a great life. Rather, your late mother and I did. You were the center of our lives when you were growing up. You had everything. And we tried to make your life easier. Your mother and I helped you with the homework. When I couldn't do it, I asked your mother. And I believe she took over and you always got help. You don't have an excuse to be doing what you are doing to me. You're giving me a horrific life. A life that I would wish, or maybe I would wish it on my worst enemy, but definitely not on anyone I love. I mean, for you to be doing this, it is outrageous. You know, you want to listen to a evil, sadistical woman? That's your choice. You know, growing up, you had dancing classes. Your mother didn't have to work at Ballet Hispanical to pay for your lessons because that was your great aunt who also took you to Spain when you were a little child. You went on cruises. You went on every vacation your mother and I had. We didn't leave you home. We didn't, you know, put you off on somebody else when we had vacation time. No, you went with us. Because we wanted your life to be easy. We wanted you to have things and see things so you could be somebody. When I always told you to be somebody. For you to be stealing money from your disabled father who's a senior citizen is cruel to have others in organized crime stealing from me, watching me while I take a bath or a shower. That's criminal and sick. And for you to have them steal from me because I have evidence against you showing how cruel and inhuman you are to your father, that you steal my Social Security with the help of somebody in New York Social Security who must be very high up in order to order other people in Social Security to continue this window to have bankers laundering that money, opening up a second account without my knowledge. You know, I warned you this day would come. I am fed up with your cruelty, with your inhumanity, with your laziness. Because if we had been lazy, you would not have gotten what you got which is a good home, food in your belly all the time. You weren't used to go out and steal like the people who live upstairs from me, who don't bother to educate their child properly, except in being a thief. You know, huh? you want to listen to your grandmother, listen to her. But you deserve... 20 years in federal prison because you earned it by doing what you have done to me. Having banks laundry 
stolen money from Social Security. Having my union 1199 gave me you my death benefit. I'm not dead yet, but you're driving me to that point. Having people at Liberty Mutual steal from me and then try to claim that they've overpaid me when they know they've underpaid me and they have sent money to you in Atlanta, Georgia, Chase Manhattan Bank, uh, Washington Federal, which I'm banking at now, and uh, what was the U.S. Bank that they were sending electronic checks to? Because I didn't trust them anymore, I wanted paper checks. But you have those idiots upstairs steal from me. The family of the management at the tower. And we both know the owners of the towers knows what's going on. So they are liable for everything that their management family has stolen from other tenants. And I am not the first one. And to have police officers in organized crime cover up those crimes. You know, this is not a life. I should not have all this pressure on me, all this tension. I don't even have my medications because those criminals upstairs have thrown away my medication. You had them start a fire while I was asleep where the smoke could have killed me. But you don't care. As long as you are able to steal that money, well, enough is enough. I have contacted the White House, given them the proof. I have given proof to the FBI. And yes, I'm willing to testify against you because of all the inhumanity you have done towards me. I have had enough. And I am willing to take care of my grandchildren, make them the center of my life, raise them properly to believe in God, to follow his commandments, which you don't seem you can do. I don't consider you or your boyfriend adults. You're Latina, and we're all raised that a man is supposed to take care of his family. Well, he's not. You're not. To be stealing from your father is the worst of the worst you can do. And God can't forgive a person who keeps committing the same crime. I mean, please. God is all-knowing, all-caring. But he's going to punish you because you have earned it. I have tried my best to teach you to be an adult. Your grandmother undid everything your mother and I tried to do for you. And we were both willing, and you know this, to continue to support you so you can further your education, which you chose not to. You cannot blame your mother on me. You can blame yourself and your grandmother. Yes, you were brainwashed, but you didn't get any help from your father because you didn't want it. 